No lead up, no warning. Just a massive explosion and flames 20 metres high. The blast so powerful it blew the roof off the building and destroyed three businesses in an instant. My first impression was uh, that it was a plane crash. The epicentre, a Turkish kebab shop in Canberra's north. The owner, the only one injured. His clothes were with the fire, his head, his arm, his all burned. What caused the blast is under investigation. Witnesses say the man had just gone back inside after he'd finished cleaning when it happened. Very grateful that there was only one person injured. It could have been a lot worse. It very nearly was. The explosion toppled a wall onto the man's car, narrowly missing his wife, who was standing next to it, but trapping his two children inside. Mohammed Ikram was in the car park and saw it all unfold. Then I ran to save the kids, opened the rear door of the car, to took the kids. Insulation, plaster and glass was sent hurtling across the neighbourhood. Well, I thought it was raining because stuff was falling on the house, so I thought it was thunder at first. The blast was felt three kilometres away. I cannot believe it, no, it is, it is, yes, it is definitely something. It wasn't just neighbouring businesses that were damaged in the explosion. This building is at least 100 metres away and its windows were also blown out by the shockwave. I've been in 18 years. And you've never seen anything like this? Uh, not to this extent, that's for sure. It's understood the injured man may need to be flown to Sydney for specialist treatment. Rob Scott, 7 News. A kebab shop in Belconnen exploded around 7.30 last night, lifting the roof off and damaging neighbouring businesses. Its owner, Zahir, was reportedly inside the closed shop at the time and was injured in the blast in front of his horrified family who were waiting in the car. Zahir suffered multiple burns and has been transferred to a Sydney hospital for treatment. After the fire was extinguished last night, investigators combed through the aftermath today to figure out what caused the explosion. At this stage, uh we don't have any um, cause for the fire um, and we'll leave that with the AFP. The impact was felt streets away, with many in nearby suburbs mistaking it for an earthquake and reporting glass shattering hundreds of metres away. Thankfully, the damaged businesses were mostly empty and no one else was seriously injured. It is in a, um, a very uh, well-used area. There are a lot of local takeaway um, places, service stations, things like that. So, yes, obviously very, very grateful that there was only one person injured. It could have been a lot worse. First responders were confronted with a chaotic scene. The blast was heard and felt for kilometres around Belconnen and bystanders watched on as firefighters suppressed the flames. The scale of the devastation soon became clear, though its cause remains a mystery. I'm not trying to hold anything back. We, we simply don't know. The explosion ripped through a kebab and pizza shop on Ray Street at around half past seven. Fortunately, it was closed for trade, but the owner was on site. Looking on in disbelief this morning, the halal grocer from next door recalls helping his neighbour to safety moments after the blast. When I ran and came, the Zahir's had his arms and uh, the hands, they were burned. He had one hand on his tummy because it was bleeding from the tummy, but he was in the good senses. With the area still cordoned off this morning, shopkeepers were unable to get close, though it's clear for some that their stores are damaged beyond repair. I put all my money, all my investment on the shop three months before I opened. No, it's totally destroyed, totally finished now. Unbelievable. It's never, I, I've been in Australia for the last 27 years. This is my first time to see that much damage. Investigations into the cause of the blast are ongoing and police are urging any witnesses they haven't spoken to to come forward. Harry Frost, ABC News, Canberra.
Dos.